Okay, y'all, I got several requests for the dress that I made. The um, pillowcase dress for adult. Um, I've been making my daughter some. And I made decided I was going to make me one. I make Kendra's with just pillowcase, cut it, sew it, and voila. And you just put some ribbons on it and stuff. Okay, for the adult version, you need a piece of fabric that's going to be real wide and also real long. I like mine to be here and then to my ankles just for a cover up type deal and you need so you need to get a piece of fabric that that's going to be really wide or and long if you only need it short then it'd be you know just do that or whatever um I can't tell you how much you need it's going to be based on your measurements what you need to get to do is you need to get a um dressmakers or a flexible measuring tape like this and if your bust is bigger than your tummy then measure your bust if your tummy is bigger than your bust then measure your tummy thankfully my bust is bigger than my tummy and on my example just my example is 55 inches so um yeah uh, just at the here so yeah that's huge <laughs> So anyway, what I did is laid out the fabric long this way, not this way, but this way, and then I measured over 55 inches and then cut it, um, and that's what I did. And then what you want to do is, this is so simple, y'all. This is really, if I can figure this out, y'all can too. What you want to do is put your salvage in and your salvage in together to make a, like a square, a not square, but a rectangle type thing. And you need to start at the bottom, okay? Start at the bottom and then sew all the way towards the top, but do not sew all the way to the top. You've got to have room to put your arms in. Um, let me put this down a little bit. You need to have room to put your arms because you're going to have the ribbon here. Um, so just kind of, I kind of guessed at it because I stopped early because you can always sew up, but you can't. It's a little harder to rip out. I'm learning this the hard way. So, um, thankfully I got it right. And for me, from my neck to where I stopped here was 10 inches. And that's what I stopped. Okay? Now, when you get to the top, you'll have this at the top. And to make this little, you need to make a little pocket to put your ribbon in. So all you got to do is just fold it over and then hem it right here at the bottom and it'll leave this pocket to thread your ribbon through. This is just, um, I got a piece of bed sheet and shredded and made ribbons. I like it like that. I know it kind of looks, mm, some people don't like it, some people do. I don't, you know, that's just me. But you take a ribbon, attach it to a safety pin and then feed it through here. And then that way it'll cause the bunch up to where you can do it like that. And it'll be like, um, then you put it on. Um, you turn it inside out and everything, and it'll put on. Now, I didn't put a slit in mine at the bottom. You could do that. You could put a dual slip. Um, and then that's, in that case, you just, uh, you don't sew, start, you've got to cut on that one side because when you, cut the fabric it's one long piece and then when you sew it it makes this little edge so you're gonna have to cut and then hem and I didn't want to deal with all that I didn't want to have to cut and hem and blah 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 so what I do is just do it that way and for my sewing machine um, I just put it on in number two which is like real tight straight stitch nothing fancy um, and your yaw and your thread really don't have to match because it's all gonna be it's all gonna be um inside I guess you could say so you don't really have to to match um, but the ribbons are interchangeable because you got your your pocket that you put your thing through and all you got to do to change out your ribbons if you don't if you're you know want to wear a white ribbon for the day or you want to wear something that matches all you got to do is take out the ribbon it just slides right out and then put your other ribbon um I don't know where my safety pin is okay here it is you just put the safety pin 
on a piece of ribbon like this. I know this seems really simple, y'all, but some people, you know, this is kind of for my daughter, too, because my daughter wants to interchangeable ones. So anyway, you just do it like this so it's on there, and then you'll just feed it through that sleeve that you've, the pocket you've created, and it'll just come through, and then that way you'll have it in your, in your thing. And uh, then you just take off the safety pin, and what I recommend, um, just so it doesn't unravel at the ends, is just tie a simple knot at the end, and um, that way it just keeps it from unraveling and kind of, I don't hold it in there because there's, you, unless you sew it in, which was defeat the purpose. So anyway, y'all, um, I'm going to wrap this up, but um, if y'all have any more questions, let me know, and I will try to get with you and help you out, but like I said, it's a so simple dress, seriously, it's a so simple, and um, you can make it any size, and for for my daughter, I'm just using standard pillowcases, and um, some of the pillowcases, the king size pillowcases, are like way too long, so if, my daughter's eight, so if you have some a little bit of a smaller person, then you're going to need to cut the bottom off and rehem it because that's the glory of the pillowcases is that the bottom is already hemmed so you don't have to hem all you gotta do is cut the sides and then add the ribbons um, so anyway y'all uh, holler if you got any more questions thanks